powers and exponents. In this lesson, we're going to talk about power. The body of a power has two parts. It has the exponent and a base. The entire thing, 4 to the third power, this is called a power. It has exponent and base. Mathematically, 4 to the third power means 4 times 4 times 4. And that is a repeated multiplication of base. And 4 times 4 times 4, this is called a factor form. In a power, we want to identify the exponent and the base. And we want to know how can we represent that in repeated multiplication. Again, we want to find exponent first, then the base. The exponent of this power is 4. Base is 2. What it means repeated multiplication is 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. Because they're all numbers multiplied together that equal to 16. That is the value of 2 to the 4th power. Let's look at another example. 5 squared. Exponent is 2. Base is 5 and repeated multiplication is 5 times 5 equal to 25. Now, take a look. Exponent is 3. But the base is in a group symbol. The entire group is a base. So entire group, it has negative 3. So therefore, the base is negative 3. And we want to represent that in the factor form. That is negative 3 times negative 3 times negative 3 equal to negative 27. Let's take a look at this one. It is so similar to that. But the exponent is 3, and the base is not negative 3, but just 3. So if we run, we represent that in the factor form is 3 times 3 times 3, and times negative 1, because of the negative sign. Then this power is the same representation as in this way. Okay, x squared. The exponent is 2, base is x, and is x times x. But when x equal to 3, that x times x becomes 9. When x equal to negative 4, become negative 4 times negative 4, that will be 16. So when a power has variable in it, itself does not have a value until we assign a value to the variable. Let's take more examples. Negative 2 to the third power. Negative 2 to the third power. Because exponent is 3 and the base is 2 with a negative times negative 1. So the answer is negative 8. 6 squared exponent 2. Base is 6. 6 times 6 equal to 36. Exponent is 2. Base is, you're right, negative 4. The answer is 16. Exponent is 2, base is 12, answer is 144. Y cubed, exponent, base, factor form. If y is negative 2, we want to evaluate y to the third power. What would that be? You got it. 
I want to remind you again, find exponents first, then the base. Exponent is, base is y factor form. Another example, exponent, base, then times 3. Ex exponent, base. Exponent, base, times negative 4. Exponent, base, times x. You get the idea? All this with variables, we also call them monomials. Obviously, monomial is not necessarily only with variables. It could be constant just like what we have seen before. But all this we call that monomial. We're going to talk about monomial a lot in algebra. Okay, let's review what we have learned. First of all, powers and exponents. The whole thing is called a power and the little number on the upper right corner is called the exponent. We need to find exponent first and then the base. Find the exponents and relate to its base. And we know what is a factor form. y cubed, the factor form is y times y times y. And we can evaluate it when the y variable y has a assigned value, such as negative 2. Therefore, the evaluation, which is find the value of y cubed, is negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2. That equals to negative a. And with all this monomial, find the exponent first, and then the variable, and then the base. Okay, remember how to write the factor form? Okay. You can always come back and repeat the video math lesson. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.